Hello everybody, my name is Joel Simmons. I'm the manager of Lakehead University Forest Resources and Soil Testing Lab. That's Forest Lab for short. I know it's a mouthful. Today we're going to be uh, showing you how to do a proper soil sampling. And that's a really important part of getting good accurate soil test results is taking a good soil sample. So uh, to start off, I should just mention that uh, you, you need to make sure you got clean equipment. That's a good place to start. Now, soil scientists have, have soil augers. We all don't have soil augers, uh, but everybody's got a, a garden shovel of some type. So we got a, either a spade or even a little hand trowel will do. Today, I'll show you how to use this hand trowel. Now, this one's a bit dirty and that's a, uh, something I should mention. You wanna make sure that your, your trowels or shovels or whatever you're using are free of, of dirt and dust and stuff from before. You want to make sure it doesn't have uh, fertilizer residues on it or, or salt from if you've been using it to, to, to salt your driveways and stuff. So you want to make sure that it's, it's clean. So we'll just quickly clean this off here to start off with. Wipe it clean. The other thing I should mention is you want to make sure your shovels are made of the right material and not galvanized, uh, galvanized steel, which is actually zinc plated. Um, because that's going to throw off your, your zinc results if you're doing any micronutrient testing for copper, iron, manganese, and zinc. Um, so you want to make sure you're not using galvanized steel. So now that we've got our clean trowel and we're ready to go, uh, you want to make sure that the surface that you're actually going to be sampling is free of any plant material because we're not taking a plant uh, sample for testing, we're taking a soil sample. So you might have little Manitoba maple seedlings, they're all over the place, or in this case I've got some uh, cilantro that has reseeded from last year. You want to remove that and get a nice clean soil surface to sample from. Now, if you think about plant roots, they're going to go down mostly about, let's say about six inches. That's going to be where they're getting most of the um, moisture and, and nutrients from. So you're going to put your trowel in about six inches and you're going to shake it around a bit, loosen up the soil and you want a slice of about one to two inches. So, like so. Now I've got a clean pail here. This is just like a, pl a plastic pail that's used for you know, household compost. You want to make sure that this is clean as well and you're not using a galvanized steel bucket. So plastic's good or any other uh, you know, material like that. Just don't use galvanized steel again. And you're gonna put your one sample in there. Now, that's just one sample. If, we'd, if we take this sample and we send it to the lab, our results that you actually get back they're only going to be good for this little pocket of soil that you actually sampled. You want to make sure that you're actually getting a number of samples from this area that we're going to mix together and make a composite sample and then that's going to really represent the, the nutrient levels that are in the soil. And you're going to try to get a good, good representation. So we're going to repeat that for this area uh, four or five times. Now most homeowners, you can take as many as you want and the more you take the better. Uh, general rule for farmers that are doing big fields are like uh, 10 samples per 100 square meters. So that's not very much, but I mean, like I said, for a small area like this, you can take a whole bunch and then you know you're getting good values. So let me just take another one here as an example. So six inches down, one to two inch slice. Now, that's actually a good that that showed up. You got a big chunk of, I had pumpkins in this spot last year. So here's a pumpkin, part of a pumpkin vine. You're gonna have a mix of rocks, uh, old roots from last year's plants. You want to remove as much of those as possible. You don't want to put those in the, uh, in the with the soil. And you're going to mix it around. You got to use a shovel or your hand if you want to get dirty. And uh, from this, you're going to take your your sample. Now we need one to two cups to actually do the analysis. So scoop up one or two scoops here into a. Sealable sandwich bag is a good thing to use. They're nice because they don't leak out. Or you can also use a, a container of some sort. If you've got a disposable margin container or something, uh, you can use that. So now that you've got your one to two cups, you can actually come and drop this off at Lakehead University. We've got a number of different drop off spots. Just give us a call. Uh, or if you're from out of town, I was mentioning these before, you've got your little mailer bags. You'd actually take this, put it inside like so and uh, pop that in the mail and Canada Post would bring it right to our door and, and we would do the analysis for you. So 
that's pretty much it. It's fairly straightforward, but like I said, it's, it's one of the most important parts of good soil testing is to make sure you got a good soil sample. So um, good luck. If you got any questions, just drop us an email or give us a call.